Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 19th of September and the time has just gone 10.58 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is the pound versus the US dollar. And taking a look at the big picture, uh, sterling has been losing ground uh, versus the US dollar uh, for a number of months now since, since April. But we have seen a fairly decent uh, bounce back uh, in, in the pound versus the US dollar over the last month or last four, 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 four and a half weeks or so. Uh, if take a look at the price action uh, since the middle of August, we can see that the market has been, has been moving higher. And that the market actually today, um, on the back of solid inflation figures from the UK, hit a level not seen since late July. Uh, the market has been pushing higher in, in recent sessions. And if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see there's a... There's a, there's, a solid, there's a steady increase uh, in positive momentum. So as the market's been pushing higher, um, the, the rate of positive momentum has been increasing. So the momentum is with the buyers. So we, we can be more confident that this upward move in the pound uh, is going to continue. And if we do see that the pound continue to make ground versus the US dollar, we could be looking at targeting this region here in around the 1 spot 3250 area. We've seen a fair bit of consolidation in the price area um, in, in, uh, over the last number of months. And if we go beyond 1 spot 3250, we could be looking at targeting this area here, uh, the early July high, which comes into play in at 1 spot 3361. Uh, and if you, go to, if you take out that level, we could be looking at heading back towards this price here, uh, the early June high, and that comes into play at 1 spot 3450. 34.72. Now, as I was saying, the pound's been in a fairly decent upper trend versus the US dollar for the last say, four weeks or so. But if we do see a bit of a pullback in the, in the pound, uh, we could see support come into play in around this area here, this 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 blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes into play at one spot 29.86. So, and also that's just south of the psychologically important one spot 30 area. So, support may 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 be found um, in at one spot 30 or one spot 29.86. That region could act as a very decent area of support. Notice how, as the market was pushing higher uh, in late August, it ran into a bit of resistance at the at this blue line here, this blue line here, the 50 moving average. And then once the market got above that, it, it actually actually managed to act as support. So a, a fairly good example of old resistance acting as new support. So and if the market has acted as support in the recent past, it may do so again in the near future. And even if you do drip, drip, um, um, drop below uh, the 50 day moving average, this area could be an also potential area for support. Which comes into play at one spot twenty-eight fifty-nine, uh, and south of there, break below that could then point us down towards uh, the early September low of one spot twenty-seven uh, eighty-five. And if you have, have a break below that, we could be looking any back down towards the August low at one spot twenty-six sixty-one. And if you go south of that, uh, that will be putting us back to a level not seen for over a year, and that will be actually quite bearish for the, in terms of outlook. Um, but moving away from the actual the actual the price action on, on the charts. Um, the economic indicators of the UK uh, have actually been fairly positive recently. Only today we saw inflation in the UK jump to 2.7% from 2.5%. That's the headline figure. And actually even the core figure jumped to 2.1% up from 1.9%. So it's actually a fairly decent uh, le level of demand from the UK. Uh, in terms of the political front and, and regarding Brexit, um, the EU appear to be softening their stance. Uh, Michel Barnier appears to be uh, more accommodating um, in, in terms of his negotiating stance uh, in relation to the, uh, uh, the the impending deal that needs to be struck between the UK and the European Union. So traders are seeing this the softer approach from Mr. Uh, Mr. Barnier as a sign that he's willing to actually do a deal. And if you are going to be trading the pound versus the US dollar, please keep an eye on the Fed Reserve. Uh, the, the, the US Central Bank are meeting next week and the markets are probably pricing in a high probability of an interest rate hike and the update that, that, will, that, will, be, that will be accompanied by the interest rate decision uh, will also be closely watched because there's also a uh, fairly high markets are chancing in a reasonably high probability of a December uh, rate hike from the Federal Reserve too. Uh, if you have any commentary on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.